Good morning everyone, this is the new Hyundai Kona 2024, the new facelift with a bigger battery, higher WLTP range, 515 kilometers, the screen of the only teachers went white. <laughs> yeah, we talk about this in a second. It also charges better. It should charge with a peak of 100 kilowatt. Already I've seen 103 kilowatt. I charged this car not far away. And then I drove here at what is 95%. My charge limit is at 100%, but I couldn't make it to charge here at Ionity. It never locked the charger. It, I plugged in, I was holding it. I tried it on three chargers. I, I tried it three times on, every, on each charger. It didn't work. I couldn't charge from 95% to 100. I don't know why. So we start this range test today at 130 kilometers an hour with 95% or whatever it says in the car, maybe 94, I can't remember. We'll see in the car. Go on the highway drive in one direction, go back and try to arrive with around 10%. I don't want to go under. What if it doesn't charge at the Onity at all? And then I have still have to have some uh, margin so I can go somewhere else and charge there. I'm driving 134 and a digital number, so real number, I can only see in the head of display. In my instrument cluster or cockpit, I only can see this. I can change this view in color and that the numbers go away or less, but that's it. Uh, there, there is no number of speedometer anymore in the cockpit and I looked around. There's less settings in here than there were before. I drove 16 kilometers. Consumption is high because uh, uphill, as always in the beginning. I am in eco mode, uh, but I, I pressed on it and it's still a lot of power. It's not very reduced and there is no button anymore in the accelerator pedal. I noticed that. Um, my heat is on 22 degrees. I can switch to driver only. Let's do that less consumption and we can see our consumption here it tells me it's just one button ev and that's it and then i have uh, eight kilowatts for driving 0 0.64 electronics climate 0 0.56 and uh, the battery heating is not doing anything awesome i can see my state of charge 88 percent already we started at 94 yeah, if you drive on the highway, there's a lot of stuff shown here. The highway assistant is on, then uh, self-steering is on, lane assist is on, and head-up display shows stuff. It's a lot of stuff happening. It has self, uh, so, so you can uh, do a lane change. So if I do it like this, then it steers itself and it does it very comfortable. I like it. I like it a lot. And I can do it by myself and it's not fighting against me. I love that. We are at 69%. <laughs> so I drove 25% down and it was around 73 kilometers, 73 to 74. So that would mean uh, 240, 280, 292 kilometers of full range. Consumption is not that low, to over 250 watt hours per kilometer at this speed. My heat is using a bit, I just had it off and now I put it back on and that's why it's pulling 1.4 kilowatt but it's driver only still 22 degrees fan uh, on low and I just put it to 21 and a half for a minute and now back and now it's heating up extensively that's a lot uh, traffic is okay a lot of trucks that I have to pass or like now 
transport us. It's, it's busy, but it has happened before. That's nothing new. I am at 44%, so I used 50% of the battery and I was at 138 kilometers and a half. So that would mean, if I'm right, 277? <laughs> no, 72. No, I was at 138. That is it. 138 is... My God, I'm so bad. Yeah, 67. So, uh, uh, 277 kilometers of range. The consumption still didn't go down too much. I sped up to 140 because my average speed is 116. And on 130 kilometers an hour range test, I try to have my average speed between 123 and 127. That's my sweet spot and so I can compare it to other cars. So I compare it to the, to the Kona, uh, the, the previous version that I have tested in the summer of 21, I think. I still have the same climate. It says that my climate is 26% of the consumption. How can that be that if I'm driving, I have around 25 kilowatt of usage and climate is one and a half kilowatt of usage how can this be 26 percent i don't get this like i said so much passing uh, trucks that i had to slow down that's why my average speed is so slow and i have to speed up and get it better <music> I'm at 31 percent, 83 kilometers of range. I just turned around. I have ooh, lost the lane. When I press on here, it tells me I arrive with 11 percent, um, but I only have 34 kilometers of margin. <music> with 11% and my data is 251 watt hours per kilometer. I drove 220 kilometers. So with 83% I drove 220 kilometers. My average speed is pretty low. We see this all in the numbers in a second. Yeah, this is weird. So I tried it at this Ionity charger, different station, and it also doesn't charge. So I have to go to a different charger because I'm at 11% and see if the charging overall doesn't work for whatever reason. Ooh, scary. Um, yes. <laughs> so Google Maps tells me it was 224 kilometers, so not the 220 that the car shows. And I put all the data in here so you can see the tire size and 19 inch wheels, the temperature, average speed and all of this. And when I take the 224 kilometers and that I drove from 94 to 11%, I get to 270 kilometers of range and my average speed is low. I mean, it's not hot, but it's also not winter. 19 inch wheels, yes, are not good for consumption. I had the heat on, but driver only and not very warm. Yes, that was not the, the best range test ever. We're gonna do it 110 because not everyone is driving 130 like we are here in Germany. And then you can see how it is for that range, but we do it at another day. Uh, Friday or Sunday, I don't know yet. Yes, but that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye. I'm at a different charger, a hypercharger, and it worked right away. The, the 
the charger showed me the state of charge in, within two seconds and it started charging after you know the typical 20 30 seconds or so charging with 93 kilowatt it i saw 103 today so i hope it will go out i saw the voltage it's around 400 volt 